you have like 20 games or so, and they're all double headers. So you got 14 to 18 innings. So it's a long day. We have Chris Baylock, the uh, Texas immigrant. Welcome from Allen High. <laughs> Thanks for having me. No problem. I'm glad to see you. It's been a while. It, it has been. It's been like, I don't know, six or so hours since this morning when, you know, we woke up in the same room together. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Well, it's, it's been good having you. Um, interesting path to get here. Uh, first, I've known of Juco transfer coming to BC from Ranger. Talk about your experience there. Now it's transi uh, translated here. Um, well, Juco is... I feel like it's completely different than like a big th or any big school. Um, it's very, you know, you play a lot in the fall. Like in the fall, you have like 20 games or so, and they're all double headers. So you got 14 to 18 innings. So it's a long day, but it's just, you're just playing, you're practicing, you're just doing the things. Whereas up here is that we don't have any games in the fall, but we still scrimmage and practice. And we do that down there too. But here it's more like meticulous and attention to detail rather than down there. It's more, um, you're just playing, you're getting your swings in. Um, so. It was a big transition into there, but still two different learning curves, which is what I really needed. Yeah, absolutely. Now, but this isn't uh, your first experience at a big high, Allen High, uh, known for its football, big football stadium. Saw that video, which was sweet. <laughs> Talk about that. Talk about coming from you know, a, a giant high school, uh, going to, to going to Ranger, and then coming back here. Yeah. So uh, it was probably it's like I think the one of the biggest, if not the biggest, high school in the state of Texas, and to be the biggest in the state of Texas is Pretty big. Um, so, yeah, the football team, they won like 57 games in a row up to the county right now. And, uh, you know, they just love it. And just going to, from that place, just everyone, um, it, it's like a small town feel kind of, but even though it's really big, um, it was awesome. Then going to Ranger, um, it's like the town has like 2,300 people. We graduated with like 80. Um, it's just very small. Like, there's even a billboard that says, this is the beginning of West Texas. Like, Ranger, Texas. So uh, y you got the feeling it's a big culture shock, but I, I needed it too. Just like keeps you grounded and, uh, you know, kind of put things in priority. And then coming back up here, it's nice to have all the nice things, all the nice little sponsored by Under Armour and, you know, just the, the BC stuff. So, uh, you know, coming back up to here, it's really nice. Yeah, the sexy stuff. Um, now, you pretty much hit, your, uh, hit the ground running once you got here. Um, you know, you got right into ball with the fall, uh, baseball in the fall. Um, then you've also had joined a number of groups on campus. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Uh, so I'm in Athletes in Action, and uh, I'm involved with uh, BC Alive. And those are two uh, Christian groups, um, and that's just a huge part, uh, the most important part of my life, uh, my faith. And, you know, to be part of a group of Athletes in Action, have other guys, uh, other brothers in Christ, like um, have – we talk about the same stuff that uh, we talk about. Uh, it, it's just awesome. It's just humbling to see those guys there. And uh, BC Live, I lead a men's small group every Monday night in our in the stair hall lounge down on the first floor, and people come to that, and you know we talk about uh, whatever, and it's, it's it's been awesome. It's just been just a wonderful uh, tool to have, and uh, up here. That's awesome. One of the uh, better things, or one of the best things that sc the school does is you know accommodate you know any faith uh, that people and however you want to practice it. Um, let's talk about some baseball. Looking forward to the spring. Um, what are your expectations? You know, what are you looking forward to? Because, I mean, it's a pretty big change from, you know, your, your spring last year to here. Yeah. So the biggest thing I'm looking forward to the most is that we can just play one game a day instead of two games a day. Doubleheaders are ridiculous. They're like nine-hour days. You wake up. If it's a home game, you can wake up at normal time, 7.30. Um, you're on the field at 9.30, 9.45. You stretch. You do your BP, um, whatever, uh, in and out. And your first game's at noon, and then you don't get you don't eat dinner until seven o'clock. So it's just a long day. So I'm really excited just to play one game a day. Um, but uh, what I'm looking forward to, I mean, just just competition. Um, JUCO, there's some really good competition, especially in Texas. Um, I can't imagine what it's like in the ACC though. It's just uh, just from what I've heard, it's just an awesome conference, one of the best, if not the best, conferences in the country. So. I'm really looking forward to that competition and seeing what happens. So that's the report from the Cowboy at Allen High School. We got Chris Bailoff.